Eight Habits of the Evolving In a world filled with chaos and uncertainty, finding inner peace becomes an invaluable asset. Welcome to our journey into the profound wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and the timeless philosophy of Stoicism. Join us as we explore Eight Habits of the Evolving, drawing inspiration from the profound teachings of the Stoic Emperor himself, Marcus Aurelius. Number 1. Practicing, virtue, striving to cultivate wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation in daily life. Practicing virtue in the Stoic tradition involves a commitment to embodying qualities that align with the highest ideals of human character. These virtues, which include wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation, serve as guiding principles for living a meaningful and fulfilling life. Wisdom, the first of the cardinal virtues, entails cultivating a deep understanding of oneself, others, and the world around us. It involves the ability to discern what is truly important and to make decisions that are rooted in reason and incite rather than impulse or emotion. Courage, the second virtue, is the willingness to face adversity, uncertainty, and fear with bravery and resilience. It involves acting in accordance with our principles and values, even in the face of obstacles or opposition. Justice, the third virtue, encompasses fairness, integrity, and respect for the rights and dignity of all individuals. It involves treating others with kindness, empathy, and compassion, and striving to create a more just and equitable society. Moderation, the final virtue, involves finding balance and harmony in all aspects of life. It entails exercising self-control and restraint, avoiding excess and extremes, and living in accordance with nature's rhythms and cycles. By practicing these virtues on a daily basis, individuals can cultivate inner strength, moral integrity, and a sense of purpose and fulfillment. They provide a framework for making ethical decisions, navigating life's challenges, and fostering deeper connections with oneself and others. Ultimately, the practice of virtue is central to the Stoic philosophy, serving as a pathway to eudaimonia, or flourishing, and a life well lived. Number two, accept the present moment. The principle of accepting the present moment lies at the heart of Stoic philosophy and mindfulness practice. It involves cultivating a deep sense of awareness and equanimity towards the reality of the here and now, embracing each moment as it unfolds without judgment or resistance. Acceptance begins with acknowledging the fundamental truth that the only moment we ever truly have is the present one. Dwelling on the past or worrying about the future only serves to distract us from fully experiencing and engaging with the richness of the present moment. By accepting the present moment, we let go of the need to control or manipulate reality to fit our desires or expectations. Instead, we learn to embrace things as they are, recognizing that life is inherently unpredictable and ever-changing. Acceptance does not mean passivity or resignation in the face of adversity. Rather, it involves acknowledging the reality of our circumstances while maintaining a sense of inner peace and resilience. It empowers us to respond to life's challenges with clarity, courage and grace, rather than reacting impulsively or out of fear. Cultivating acceptance also fosters gratitude for the simple joys and blessings of life, enabling us to find contentment and fulfillment in the present moment, regardless of external circumstances. It allows us to let go of regrets about the past and anxieties about the future, freeing us to fully engage with life as it unfolds. Ultimately, acceptance of the present moment is a practice that requires mindfulness, self-awareness, and compassion towards oneself and others. It invites us to cultivate a deeper sense of presence, connection, and authenticity in our daily lives, leading to greater peace, joy, and fulfillment. Number three, practice self-awareness. 
Stoics believed in constant self-reflection. By examining your thoughts, emotions and actions, you can identify areas for improvement and cultivate a deeper understanding of yourself. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, emphasized the importance of self-awareness as the foundation for Stoic practice. It's like embarking on a journey inward, equipped with introspection as your compass. Regularly record your thoughts, feelings and reactions to situations. Analyze recurring patterns and identify triggers for negative emotions. Quiet your mind and observe your thoughts without judgment. Notice emotional undercurrents and where they might be stemming from. Ask yourself probing questions like, what is within my control? Or, is this thought helpful? This challenges limiting beliefs and promotes a more objective perspective. By consistently practicing these techniques, you'll gain a deeper understanding of your motivations, values, and how you navigate the world. This self-awareness empowers you to make conscious choices aligned with your stoic principles and fosters a sense of inner peace. Remember, self-awareness isn't a destination, but a continuous exploration. Embrace the journey and enjoy the insights you discover along the way. Number four, recognizing what's within your control. Differentiate between what you can control your thoughts, actions and reactions, and what you can't. External events, other people's behavior. Focus your energy on the former. Within the vast tapestry of life, Stoicism teaches a profound principle. The delineation between what lies within our control and what exists beyond it. This fundamental tenet serves as a guiding beacon, illuminating the path toward inner peace resilience and wisdom. At its core, this principle invites us to introspect deeply, discerning the boundaries of our influence. Within these boundaries lie the realms of our thoughts, choices and actions, the very essence of our agency. Here, amidst the fluctuations of consciousness, we wield the power to shape our destinies, to mold our characters and to craft the narrative of our lives. Yet, Beyond this realm lie the vast expanses of the external world, a domain characterized by its inherent unpredictability and flux. Here, events unfold according to their own intricate machinations, often indifferent to our desires or aspirations. People act according to their own volition, circumstances evolve beyond our grasp, and the outcomes of our endeavors remain subject to the whims of fate. Embracing this dichotomy is not an act of resignation, but rather a profound realization, a recognition of the limitations of our agency and the boundless nature of existence. By acknowledging what lies within our control, we liberate ourselves from the shackles of anxiety and despair, relinquishing futile attempts to manipulate the uncontrollable. In this spirit of acceptance and serenity, we find solace amidst the turbulence of life. We learn to navigate the currents of fortune with grace and equanimity, embracing both the peaks of joy and the valleys of sorrow as integral facets of the human experience. Moreover, this principle bestows upon us a profound sense of empowerment, a realization that while we may not dictate the tides of fate, we possess the autonomy to choose our responses to them. In every moment, we retain the capacity to cultivate virtues such as courage, resilience and compassion, qualities that elevate our souls and dignify our existence. Thus, by embracing this timeless wisdom of Stoicism, we embark upon a transformative journey of self-discovery and growth. We learn to dwell in the present moment to savor its fleeting beauty and to navigate life's labyrinthine pathways with clarity and purpose. In the end, the recognition of what's within our control becomes a beacon of light, guiding us through the darkness of uncertainty and guiding us toward a life imbued with meaning, fulfillment and transcendence. By mastering your domain, you avoid wasting energy on what you can't control you free yourself to focus on what truly matters, 
your own response to the world around you. This empowers you to navigate any situation with resilience and a sense of inner control. Remember, the circle of control is not static. There may be opportunities to influence external factors indirectly through effective communication or taking calculated risks. However, the key is to recognize the difference and focus your primary energy where it can create the most impact within yourself. Number five, living with integrity. Aligning actions with principles, being honest and true to oneself and others. Living with integrity is not merely a moral imperative, but the cornerstone of a life well lived, according to Stoic philosophy. It entails aligning one's thoughts, words and actions with deeply held principles and values, thereby fostering inner harmony and moral coherence. At its essence, integrity involves a steadfast commitment to truthfulness and honesty in all interactions, both with oneself and with others. It requires the courage to speak and act in accordance with one's convictions, even in the face of adversity or temptation. Furthermore, living with integrity necessitates a willingness to take responsibility for one's choices and their consequences. It involves acknowledging mistakes and shortcomings with humility and grace and striving to learn and grow from them. In the Stoic tradition, integrity also encompasses consistency and reliability in one's conduct. It entails being true to one's word, honoring commitments and demonstrating integrity in both public and private spheres of life. Moreover, integrity entails authenticity the courage to be true to oneself, even in a world that may demand conformity or compromise. It involves embracing one's unique identity, values and aspirations, and refusing to compromise them for the sake of external approval or validation. Living with integrity is not always easy. It requires courage, self-discipline and unwavering commitment. It may entail making difficult choices and standing firm in the face of opposition or temptation. Furthermore, integrity serves as a beacon of moral clarity in a world often characterized by moral ambiguity and ethical relativism. It provides a moral compass, guiding us through life's complexities and dilemmas with wisdom and discernment. Moreover, living with integrity fosters trust and authenticity in relationships strengthening bonds of friendship, love and community. It creates a fertile ground for meaningful connections based on mutual respect, honesty and transparency. Ultimately, integrity is not merely a virtue to be cultivated, but a way of being, a fundamental orientation towards life characterized by moral courage, authenticity and steadfastness of character. It is the bedrock upon which a life of meaning, purpose and fulfillment is built. As Marcus Aurelius wrote, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Number six, believe in your fate. Some things are beyond one's control and embrace the unfolding of events with equanimity and acceptance. Embracing the will of fate is a fundamental tenet of Stoic philosophy, embodying a profound acceptance of the inherent unpredictability and transience of life. It involves relinquishing attachment to specific outcomes and surrendering to the natural flow of events, trusting in the wisdom of the universe. At its core, embracing the will of fate is an acknowledgement that some aspects of existence lie beyond our control. Despite our best efforts and intentions, the unfolding of events is subject to a complex interplay of factors, many of which are beyond our comprehension or influence. Rather than resisting or resenting the vicissitudes of fate, Stoicism teaches us to embrace them with equanimity and resilience. It invites us to cultivate a deep sense of acceptance and serenity, regardless of whether circumstances align with our desires or expectations. 
Embracing the will of fate does not imply passive resignation or fatalism, but rather an active engagement with life's challenges and opportunities. It entails making peace with the past, living fully in the present, and embracing the future with openness and courage. Moreover, embracing the will of fate fosters a profound sense of humility and awe in the face of the vastness and mystery of existence. It invites us to contemplate the interconnectedness of all things and to recognize our place within the grand tapestry of the cosmos. By surrendering to the will of fate, we free ourselves from the burden of excessive worry, anxiety and regret. We learn to let go of attachments to specific outcomes and to find solace in the present moment, regardless of external circumstances. Ultimately, embracing the will of fate is a pathway to inner peace, wisdom and liberation. It empowers us to navigate life's uncertainties with grace and resilience, embracing each twist and turn of the journey as an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. As Epictetus famously said, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Number seven, embrace simplicity. Stoicism encourages living a simple life, free from the clutter of materialism and unnecessary possessions. This doesn't mean deprivation or asceticism, but rather a conscious choice to focus on what truly brings value and fulfillment. Stoicism encourages minimizing attachment to material possessions. Embrace simplicity by focusing on what is truly necessary for a good life, rather than accumulating excess wealth or material goods. By reducing reliance on material possessions, one can cultivate inner freedom and resilience, as external circumstances have less power to dictate happiness. Simplify your thinking by cultivating clarity and rationality. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of clear, logical reasoning over complex or convoluted thought processes. By simplifying your mental landscape, you can more effectively navigate challenges and make sound decisions aligned with virtue. Simplify your emotional responses by practicing detachment from external events and outcomes. Stoics advocate for maintaining an inner tranquility and equanimity regardless of external circumstances. By detaching from fleeting emotions such as desire, fear or anger, one can cultivate a sense of inner peace and stability. Practice gratitude for the things you already possess, big or small. Shift your focus from what you lack to the abundance already present in your life. Prioritize experiences and relationships over accumulating material things. Invest in memories and connections that bring joy and fulfillment. Avoid unnecessary debt and wasteful spending. Practice mindful consumption, buying only what you truly need and value. Simplify your desires and expectations by recognizing that true freedom lies within. Stoicism teaches that external circumstances are beyond our control, but we always retain control over our attitudes and responses. By releasing attachment to external outcomes and embracing inner freedom, you can simplify your life and find peace amidst life's uncertainty. A simple life isn't about deprivation, but about intentionality. It's about choosing to invest your time, energy, and resources in things that truly matter. By doing so, you free yourself from the burdens of materialism and create a space for the things that bring genuine happiness and fulfillment. Remember, simplicity is a journey, not a destination. Start by incorporating small changes and gradually cultivate a life that aligns with your stoic values. Number eight, focus on progress, not perfection. Stoicism emphasizes striving for excellence, but it doesn't advocate for the unrealistic pursuit of perfection. The path to a virtuous life is paved with progress, not flawless achievement. Here's how to cultivate a growth mindset inspired by Stoicism. 
focus on the process. Enjoy the journey of learning and improvement. Savor the effort you put into a task rather than fixating solely on the end result. Celebrate small wins and milestones along the way. Simplify your thinking by cultivating clarity and rationality. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of clear, logical reasoning over complex or convoluted thought processes. By simplifying your mental landscape, you can more effectively navigate challenges and make sound decisions aligned with virtue. Stoicism encourages minimizing attachment to material possessions. Embrace simplicity by focusing on what is truly necessary for a good life rather than accumulating excess wealth or material goods. By reducing reliance on material possessions, one can cultivate inner freedom and resilience as external circumstances have less power to dictate happiness. Simplify your emotional responses by practicing detachment from external events and outcomes. Stoics advocate for maintaining an inner tranquility and equanimity regardless of external circumstances. By detaching from fleeting emotions such as desire, fear or anger, one can cultivate a sense of inner peace and stability. Remember, progress doesn't always look linear. There may be plateaus or even temporary setbacks. The key is to maintain a growth mindset, celebrate each step forward and trust that consistent effort leads to lasting improvement. As we conclude our exploration into the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and the profound teachings of Stoicism, remember that the journey towards personal growth is ongoing. Each day presents us with new opportunities to embody these principles and evolve into the best versions of ourselves. By integrating these eight habits into our daily lives, we cultivate resilience, wisdom and inner peace. Let us continue to embrace the stoic mindset, drawing strength from within as we navigate life's ever-changing currents. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery and growth. May the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius continue to illuminate our path forward. Until next time, stay stoic, stay resilient, and may your journey be filled with purpose and fulfillment. If you found value in today's discussion, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Together, let's spread the timeless wisdom of Stoicism to inspire positive change in ourselves and the world around us.